Hi, my name is Maria Badeva Bright. I'm the director of the African Legal Information Institute, or African Legal for short. We work on making access to core legal materials open and free in Africa through partnerships with National Legal Information Institutes, or LRIs. Let me briefly describe the basic problem we are addressing, even though many of you here in this room today would have encountered it in your work. In many African countries, basic legal materials necessary to conduct judicial work, protect rights and enable business and investment are largely unavailable. For instance, very few court decisions, even from the highest courts, are published at all. These, those that are published, tend to be in hard copy, circulated via informal groups and channels. It is extremely difficult for magistrates, lawyers or judges to confirm that the cases are still good law. The situation is even worse for statutory materials. In most places, these are out of date, sometimes by decades, so that if you use them, you can never know if they are still relevant. Government gazettes are printed in limited copies and never reach those who really need them. Only a few countries in Africa put the gazettes up in digital format. Yet, the government gazette is the paper of record for such things like official versions of the laws, commencement of laws, land, company data, and so on. Altogether, this makes the law and its practice fundamentally uncertain. It is a basic impediment to access to justice and to securing the rule of law on our continent. Access to legal information is access to justice, and there is no justice when justice is delayed or expensive or justice is corrupt. And this is the problem. The solution is open infrastructure, we believe. Look at all the investment in roads and communications infrastructure on our continent. It is done with the knowledge that an efficient and effective transport and communication system is essential for progress and development. Infrastructure provides jobs, business opportunities, potential for access to government service such as health, education, justice, and so on. It is also cheaper and faster today to build roads than it was decades ago. Similarly, legal information infrastructure should be open and available to all, so it can respond to bottlenecks in the development of the justice sector and access to justice. African Lee builds open source technology tools which make legal publishing cheap and easy to run. We train our partners to use software tools to provide free digital access to legal content. Court judgments, legislation, gazettes and legal commentary. At the same time, because the legal information infrastructure was until now insufficiently developed, we also spent some time encouraging it, its use reinvestment and commitment to its continued operation. The African LEAP program has helped 14 African countries to bring the law within the reach of those who need it. Citizens can read the law for themselves, so can their lawyers, equally so can magistrates and judges, all from the same source. The law is equally freely available to all, even to those who want to improve legal services and innovate for justice delivery and access to justice. The legal information infrastructure is there. Are these really helping Africans access justice? Categorically and unequivocally, yes. This is evident from the growth in online usage of the lees across Africa. We receive over 350,000 unique users per month, and the vast majority of these are Africans. We know that those users are more often coming from the legal and legal academic background 
but we do get a lot of inquiries from citizens trying to understand the law on their own. The majority of these users, however, live in urban areas, such as our friends at Barefoot Law, who I'm sure, in this picture, are consulting Yuli while responding to the many calls for legal assistance that they receive each day. We are also being used by services such as law to go This is a platform developed in Nigeria to provide plain language explanation of the laws of the country. The laws are provided in some of the main languages, including Pitkin. Um, the original version of the law provided on the website links to the Nigeria Lee uh, website for authenticity. The platform also provides legal advice in connection to legal services. They use the website apps as well as, po as, well as podcasts and radio to provide their service to Nigerians. As we reach critical mass of content and legal information, Simply digitizing and putting the law up for free use on the internet is no longer enough. To ensure access to justice to those who need it in the remotest, unconnected areas of our continent, we need to do more. We need to build partnerships with grassroots access to justice organizations and with those who innovate accessibility to justice institutions and services. Take paralegals, for example, a growing force on our continent. They bicycle on the dusty roads in rural areas and dispense advice and assistance to those who cannot even afford public transport to travel to town to obtain legal services. During a recent ethnographic study into the use of the lease and online legal information in South Africa and Zimbabwe, we interviewed the veteran paralegal who, you, who said he needs to have fast, efficient, cheap access to legal information, particularly new cases that set new precedent and new law. Such was the recent judgment in Zimbabwe banning child marriages. Many rural people, even magistrates, did not know of this law. They needed to see a copy of the judgment to accept the law as it was set. In South Africa, African Lee and Safli work with a network of 400 plus paralegals to put legal information at their fingertips and in the palms of their hands. We converted their hard copy paralegal manual to a Q&A style resource and put it on an offline Android app. We loaded the app with essential legislation and connected it to a Lee website that publishes relevant news and developments in South African law. All resources on the app, including the manual, are fully functional offline and updatable once the paralegal is in internet coverage. To go with it, we loaded the Safli website on a USB stick. So now paralegals have a full access to an offline case law collection. They can now do research on the go in the most unconnected places of South Africa. Access to legal information is an important component of access to justice, not just for lawyers, government officials, students and citizens who can afford and are comfortable with the internet. Access to updated and relevant legal information is crucial for the work of those who help the most marginalized members of our society. Legal information and knowledge can reach grassroots via such intermediaries. African Lee creates a platform and a forum where exchanges technologies and know-how can be shared to address similar use cases across our continent. We also strive to nurture partnerships 
that extend the use of legal information and the LEAVE websites. We strive to minimize heavy lifting and unnecessary repetition while maximizing return on investment in African digital legal information. We believe that this is a crucial part of access to justice. Thank you, and please do get in touch with us.